<laughs> hey, real quick, just water. Mm. You know the alkaline with the Himalayan minerals and electrolytes. You know, eight point eight. Look, good water. <laughs> oh, look, I want to, real quick. Wait, I'm a because I'm doing my poster ready for today, but um. Maybe I'll throw this out I'm scheduled for like the middle of the night. It's very short. I wanted to do something because a lot of people talk about the struggle credentials, how long you've been in the struggle, they're pulling rank or whatever have you. Anyway, uh, this magazine came out when? In uh, April 1985. Look, I've been in struggle since 1964. No, I ain't got no receipts for that. Do I got receipts for other things? Anyway, this is a big receipt, okay? This is the one with Shirley Roberts on it. You know, I think she's doing it. Anyway, this thing called Every, Everybody's Magazine. It's like a Caribbean magazine, right? And I had it here because, well, that's where stuff is. You know, it's got a, you know, all I, look, you, you know, this Caribbean magazine like that, right? But what's interesting about this is that, oh, what was this? New York Express. Da, 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 da. Oh, okay, okay, fine. Sorry about that. Um, but looky here, looky here. Let me show you something. Right there, almost the middle magazine. On page, what is page is this? Who knows? Oh, page, uh, what page is it? 23. Good number. Look at that. Who do you think that is? Holding up the sign, a pot died, must die. Look at it, look at it. See, see the boy got the headband on. Oh, let me tell you something about these glasses here. See these like sunglasses here like that? So you know how the old people now wear those 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 things like that? Well, I used to, back then, it's 85, back then in the early 80s, I had rollerblades. I had the original, not, it was prototype. It didn't even say rollerblade on. See this, you know what I'm By the way, that's me. Um, but I had rollerblades, right? And I always run into stuff. They have, I think it was, I ran into his brother someplace weird, like in Jersey or something like that on the highway. I don't know what it was. And he had these glasses. He had like a yellow pair, an orange pair, black pair. And he gave me these glasses. His brother, you know, I just, I invented these. It's going to hit, blah, blah, blah. Kind of, kind of, whatever he said, right? And he just gave gifts to me all these glasses. Oh, I was had my rollerblades on. He said, just be good for you. Wear that. And, it, you know, it's better than goggles, whatever have you. And it's just plastic, right? Well, anyway. Let me put the picture up because I actually like this picture. Um, and um, uh, so I, you know, I was just sort of protesting in front of the South African embassy in, in '85. Uh, you know, we protest about apartheid. You know, so anybody from South Africa, they say, you know, you know well, are you a com well, they can't ask me from a comrade if I have struggle credentials because I, I do. Um, anyway, uh, so I used to have these rollerblades, but they were, they were original. You know, the one with the like orange wheels and the big stopper up front. Right, black and orange, and I used to have this thing. It was like a orange uh, tracksuit, you know, with, uh, but black tracksuit, but had the orange stripes going down there. And uh, at some particular point, this is showing this picture. I used to have this uh, alligator clip that I had with, uh, with some feathers, man. And I'd be and see rollerblades. People on this, it's not skating, you know. What I mean, rollerblades. When you do rollerblades, it's actually was developed for the ice hockey people. You know what I mean? For off season, you know? And so, uh, just like, anyway, I got him in like 83, something like that. And I would be running around the city because you do it like skiing. It's like a boot. And so you actually suppose a ski, it's like a ski boot, you know what I mean? So you sort of, yeah, I can't, it's a nice glide. And I'd be rolling all over the city, stopping traffic, whatever. But this particular day, I was, you know, I was living down Lower East Side or on 14th Street. And I had, I had uh, some gesso paint or something like that. And so I had to go to I put some gesso paint on there and I put the words and then I had another side sign too. And I was in this street, this before I got here. This was Second Avenue. I had this, I had one I had one side and had another one. I forgot what the other one said. And I would roll up down. I was rolling up this, you know, protest lines over there. I'm just going all over Second Avenue, zoom, zoom, zoom with these two signs. Of course, in a quiet story. So the cops say, hey. <laughs> You got to be over there. You can't be running up and down the middle of the street. It probably wasn't. He, he was just pulling the cop thing. That's, that's what it is. He was just pulling the cop thing. So anyway, so I got on the sidewalk. I took my rollerblades off. I think uh, I used to have the sling bed. It must be on my... I'm not on rollerblades now. I, I think I'm in a bag. I had a sling bed, especially made by um, my wife at the time. Anyway, uh, so that's it. I just wanted to give you say that, you know... 
we all have to do what we can do. At this point, you know, I'm I'm that old guy. I'm about to enter my my seventh decade on the planet, so I can't. Be, well, I can be, but uh, it's better that I that I write that I do some other stuff. And plus, I'm sort of in a morning period, you know, until, until October, so I got to sort of chill for a little while, you know. So anyway, I'll be doing some other stuff, you know, because as you get older, man, you're not supposed to be da 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 da. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be doing something else. <laughs> so so um, and, oh, he, he, oh, that's the other thing about giving advice. And a lot of these old people, why? <laughs> Let me ask you something. No, I want to ask something. There's a lot of these old people that are still trying to be in front of something. They're going to lead something. And all they're doing is, is trying to squelch the young people. What, what this is, 85? Anyway, my point is, if you're, if you're under 40, under 30, under 20, there's different realities, different things you can do. I really admire those those those, those, those youngins. I've called them the 13-year-olds. They did what they did to, to, to the dumb man, you know? So... Everybody should do it only. The, but here, oh, no, I do have this criticism. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Here's the problem, man. In in a colonial, in a, the, okay, in a colonial situation, you have different forms of uh, of uh, bread and circus, right? Or whatever it is. Uh, or, 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 okay, there's, there's hard colonialism. That would be the military thing. There's something in between, like the, 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 the religious thing, you know, Getting in your mind, psychological kind of thing, you know, where, where they have you worshiping Jesus, you know, instead of I don't know, instead of uh, Desalina, you know. Um, then you had to have they have a very effective thing. It's this like soft colonialism, this soft, um, you know, dampening, and that that would be your sports and your entertainment. You see, I'm leaving media. I will your media, sports and entertainment. And those are distractions because you know, and, and this thing, those those people that now say you know they're going to give this, you know. John Legend is going to sing this song, or whoever's going to, I'm sorry, I shouldn't mention names, but people want to sing their song, you know, the, I, I said I wanted to admit, you're going to have these big things, and so you, it's used to these celebrities, and you want to, they're going to keep on doing their radio programs, their, their programs, their inane programs, right? This is a time of revolution. You're supposed to stop that stuff. No, no sports people are supposed to be playing at all. Don't play, because if you play, you're giving them money. Don't, don't, no, your your platform, you say, but how am I going to make money, brother? I, I was making, you know, the, the, you know, six figures, seven figures a, a year. I can't make that. It's, it's, that's your sacrifice. You got it? So, I mean, you can hit it one time, but this constant, you know, no, no, it's not, that's wrong. That's wrong. Other people got here. And these people with the old ideas are still trying to be a part of the system. They're jumping in there, speaking for... No, no. Chill out. Don't get me excited. Well, this is just a little message for me. T, from the Patterson of Taking the Trenches to Bed. Lynn, you know what I only suspect. From from an ADOS reality. Which, yeah, my wife made. From an ADOS reality. I still got my uh, friend Lou Hamer. Now, that's a struggle person. If you ain't doing the friend Lou Hamer thing... Sit your behind. I'm sorry. I'm getting upset again. You know. Just a little suggestion. Some receipts from me. T from the Patterson Sacred Change to Tibet. Letting you know what I only suspect.